we need to think of a new advert for freebets.com. Get your best betting offers from freebets.com. Yeah, that'll do. The following deals are now live. Matt Lenehan Boxing Social in association with freebets.com, Empire Fight Star, Forge, Irish Stout. We're here, the return of Craig Richards. Craig, we spoke in Newcastle, he said, look, the return's imminent, we just need to get the ball rolling. Yes. Ball is now rolling, how do you feel? I feel good, as soon as I heard that um, there was an opportunity to fight, I didn't mind what show, where, well, more fortunate it was London, straight away, yes, I'm in. A lot's changed, um, change of trainer. Just talked to me and touch on that. Um, Shane McGuigan obviously doing his thing. Um, works for a new number of fighters, still working with a number of fighters and producing results. Why Shane? Why did you make that transition? Shane's a top level coach and I thought if I'm going to leave the match from Jim, it's got to be a top level coach. And I've looked at the work of Shane McGuigan over the years and always rated him highly as a coach. As soon as I went down the gym and started doing a little bit of work with him, I could just see he had so much to offer me. And I said, yeah, and I always got along with Shane also as well, just as a person outside of boxing. So everything just made sense. The ducks was in line, as they like to say. Absolutely. What, um, what sort of subtle changes have you seen in yourself? You obviously have a long career. It's not like you're a prospect anymore. Everyone's well aware of you. Um, what, what are the changes you've seen in yourself in that short period? Without obviously giving too much away, but you, you must have seen improvements, whether it be mentally, physically or... Mentally and physically, fundamentals, boxing-wise. Um, Bad habits, I didn't even realise I'd more than I uh, realised. Yeah. He's corrected the doubt for me, um, showing me different ways of using my assets. Yeah, just so much, so much. You mentioned on stage, um, almost feels like they were trying to suggest with these performances you've had against the likes of a Biddle that you've been that nearly fighter, that nearly there, good performance, but just pipped almost. What is it now about you that's going to get you over the line in these big fights? Because there's still some huge fights for the likes of yourself and everything else. That's the whole point of why I made these changes in terms of I need to make sure the next time I'm in these big fights, obviously, God willing, get over Saturday first, but then moving forward from there, when I'm in these massive fights, if, say I go for the world title again, it ain't a nearly moment. It's, yeah, this is the guy who beat the man. So that's what I'm aiming for and that's what I'm working hard to do now, not just to be there in the balance with people anymore. 100%. What are the big fights for you? You mentioned obviously Bivol and Tree sick of hearing his name because everyone always talks about that fight, and cause it, especially because he's kicked on, but that result just gets ever more better for you as it goes on for him, doesn't it? But what, is, what are the fights for you that you want truly? I know, and this isn't with any disrespect to what's coming on Saturday because look, Boris is, <laughs> Boris is tough, like, yeah. tough, tough dude, like short notice, but he'll come. So this, what this, are the big he's fights? He's one of the guys that, this is one of the fights I wanted. I wanted activity and be back. Now I've got that ticked off and then moving forward. I just want to be what come world champion before I hang it up. So my aim is always just look at the world champions. I don't really look at names. And right now, obviously, Bivol and Batervia, these are the guys at the top right now. So it's just like, what do I have to do in the gym to be competing at that level, to be winning at that level? And that's my aim, and that's what I'm aiming to progress to do. Domestically as well, though, when you look around, I mean, we saw a terrific fight um, last weekend, like, you know, looking like Aziz and Boatse of Ante Yard hanging around, who's always a big name for you. Um, you mentioned the likes of Bivol Betabiev after they have a fight, whether there's a rematch and belts get dispersed. There's going to be an opportunity there for all you guys to sort of wangle your way into contention. Is that the sort of the plan, them to have the fight, see what happens? From that. I didn't really been looking at other people recently to be fair. I've been kind of locked in my own journey to be fair. Yeah. And it's all about my own progression at the moment. I haven't really, it's just one step at a time. Saturday is what I've been focused on now and just me as a person progressing. Yeah. When you're talking about domestic fights, obviously they're great. But for me, remember, I'm not like going to get overly, overly, overly excited because I've done it from my sixth fight. I've boxed the guy 12 and 0. Yeah. I boxed Sterling 10 and 0, 14 and 0, Shakan, Jake 12 and 1. Um, you, the list is endless. I've had so many domestic fights. It's like they're great, of course. So I've been involved with at least seven um, yeah. big, big domestic fights. But yeah, you, you, you can never write a domestic fight off because there's always interest in, in your own country. Everyone gets interested in them. But my aspirations, I didn't come into boxing to be like, right, I want to get into a big domestic fight one day. I came into boxing to say, 
I want to become world champion. And of course, I wanted to be British champion as well. So when I become British champion, I ticked off one thing, becoming British champion and having that massive domestic clash because you all remember Dylan White versus Anthony Joshua for the British title was one in history we all remember to be a big domestic clash before they both pushed on. And I kind of had my British clash with Shikan then pushed on. So now my aspiration to win a world title, what comes between that's up to my team. Look, it's exciting times, and like you said, there, there's so many options for you. Look, I won't keep you too much longer. You've got a message for your fans, the one who's been supporting you throughout this journey and welcoming you back, welcoming you back to the ring this Saturday. Um, thankful for everyone who supported me. Thanks to my sponsors, especially like Elite Fleet, the Mill Team, obviously Everlast, Sports Direct, etc. Sean Printown. These guys have been behind me, supporting me throughout my journey. Never flaked on me. Uh, and I was thankful the fans who stayed with me and eager for my return and waited and been patient with me. Let's go get it Saturday. Craig, uh, always a pleasure catching up with you. We're looking forward to seeing you back. Thank you. Good luck. Appreciate you. Thank you. We need to think of a new advert for freebets.com. Get your best betting offers from freebets.com. Yeah, that'll do. The following deals are now live.